Welcome, Ditch, to your call. I'm your host, Rob Melnichuk, and I'm inviting you to stay with me for the next 90 minutes of talk media. Tonight, do you believe in prophetic ministry for today? What is the role of the prophetic? Is personal prophecy biblical? It is sometimes a controversial and often confusing subject. Well, joining me live in the studio to engage in such a discussion is Russ Moyer. Russ is the founder and president of Eagle Worldwide Ministries. He is a missionary evangelist whom God often uses in the prophetic deliverance and healing ministries. And we're going to meet Russ in just a moment. But first to start us off, teaching prophet Graham Cook gives us his personal belief regarding the prophetic, the ultimate of which is who you and I are to become in Christ. Here's Graham. We'll be right back with Russ. Stay tuned. In many ways, his conversation with God and encounters with him have never stopped. It's what makes up Cook's ministry as a writer, pastor, and prophetic teacher. And though his first encounter with God was extraordinary, Cook says hearing his voice isn't. It's called the prophetic, and it's part of his daily life. It's really interesting that people say that they're Bible-believing, um, but they don't know how to hear the voice of God. And it's not like God wrote a book and stopped talking. I mean, what is that? That just makes me giggle. I think God is always talking. And the promise of Jesus is, my sheep know my voice. Hearing God's voice isn't always easy, especially in a world of noise and endless distractions. But taking the time can make all the difference. And he says what God has to say is profound, life-giving, and often surprising. Cook spends up to four months a year meditating, and that's where the bulk of his teaching and insights come from. I began to learn in that whole time that the antidote to my past is not my present being sorted out, it's me understanding my future. It's like God wants to take you from your past to your future to show you who you are becoming and then what happens is he shows you, this is why I love prophecy, he shows you who you're going to be and then he lays out this pathway for you to get there. The role of the prophetic, if you're just tuning in, I'm Rob Melicha, host of It's Your Call, and we're talking about the subject of prophecy tonight. The role of the prophetic, do you believe in prophetic ministry today? Is it possible to hear the voice of God? How do you hear the voice of God? And what about personal prophecy? Is personal prophecy biblical? Well, the telephone lines are open, 1-855-588-CALLER-2255. I want you to call in and give me your thought, your opinion on that. As well, you can go to our website, itsyourcall.tv, visit our discussion board, and post your comment. Let me quickly read one already from Ginny. Here's what Ginny said. As long as we are here on the earth, we have need of the fivefold ministry of the Holy Spirit. One of them is the prophetic ministry. It is essential that the body of Christ have these ministries working together in order for the body of Christ to grow. In the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12, it states that, And He gave some apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. For what? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the building up or edifying of the body of Christ. Do you believe in the prophetic ministry. Again, telephone lines are open. You can call live in the studio right now, 1-855-588-CALLER-2255, or it's your call.tv. Post a comment on a discussion board, and you can click onto our Facebook page, tell us that you like us, and post a comment there, or a question as well. And you know, throughout this entire program, it's very important for you to understand, we do have prayer partners, men and women, who are willing to pray with you. The number to call is 1-866-273-4444. These are men and women who have a calling on their life to minister to you in prayer. Or possibly you're somewhere along a journey of faith and may have not yet made a commitment to Christ, but you're close to it and you maybe have further questions or you'd like someone to pray with you and agree, 
please call our prayer partners. They will do such. The bottom line of this program, this ministry is that you can become all you are in Christ Jesus. Well, the role of the prophetic, it is a confusing and it is a controversial subject. Is there such a thing as the office of the prophet today? What does the Bible say? Well, I have with me a good friend, someone who God has called, who operates in the prophetic and does a number of things, began a journey in life as a successful businessman, God called to full-time vocational ministry, basically operates too as an apostle over churches, planted churches, holds conferences, teaching, seminars, etc., etc. And we're going to talk a bit about that later on. But my special guest tonight is Russ Moyer. Russ, welcome to It's Your Call. Thank you for having me with you, Rob. I really appreciate that. I'm so delighted to have you here with us, Russ. And uh, we're going to get to the phone lines in just a moment. But again, for our viewing audience, telephone lines are open. The role of the prophetic. How do you hear the voice of God? Do you believe in prophetic ministry? Is personal biblical prophecy for you and I today? Those questions, those comments, want to hear from you. 1-855-588-CALL. Well, Russ. I want to ask you this question, and then later on we're going to get a bit into your history, and uh, you've also authored a couple of books that we're going to talk about. It's a great subject, and I hope people really engage in it. But first of all, what is the role of prophecy today? I believe that the New Testament model for prophecy is in 1 Corinthians 14, chapter 3, where it talks about, uh, we could turn there and probably a lot of people out there have an understanding of prophecy, but, mm -hmm. you know, Paul begins in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and goes all the way through to the end of chapter 14, talking about the gifts of the Spirit. Right. And then he really hones in on the gift of prophecy in chapter 14. In, in verse 3, he says, But he that prophesy, speak unto men to edification, exhortation, and comfort. Okay. It's to bring encouragement, to strengthen the body, to build up, to cheer up. And um, it's not for dates and mates. It's not uh, uh, to uh, uh, try to give people a personal direction all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's really to encourage, to bring comfort and strength. If the body of Christ needs anything today, it needs edification, comfort, yeah. and strength. Now, um, when you now when Paul's talking there in, in 12 Corinthians 12, 13 to 14, um, he's talking about the corporate body mm -hmm. of Christ, and um, he's talking about the operation of the gift of prophecy within a church community. Now that could be a small house group setting, that could be large corporate church building, etc. I, I guess where, where a lot of people struggle is this whole idea of like like one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Someone's got a word from me for the Lord. And, um, and that's when we can get into some of this directive prophecy that can be quite damaging and confusing to people's lives. And we're going to unpack that a little bit more a little later because you've written a book on visions and dreams that we want to talk about. You've also written a book, um, dry, what's it called? Dry? Uh, can These Bones Live? Can These Bones Live? Talking about what you believe and see as the body of Christ should be today. And uh, some great information that I want us to throw out to our viewers. But what 